You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. We present One Giant Leap with Zig Stanyeshak and Jeff Bainham. You know, you don't actually have to jump. Don't come any closer! There are no rules for this sort of thing. It's not set in stone. No one's ever said you must do this or that. Stay away! It's all rather liberal. That's what I was meaning to say. It'll be your choice. No one is going to tell you how to do it. Some prefer the dramatic dive, leap up, arms out, straight back type of thing. Others, the much more calm, slow step off into oblivion. And then there are those that sort of waddle into it. What? The waddle, yeah. Sit, legs hanging down like you are right now, and then they move their hips left, right, left, right towards the edge. Unhurried, without fuss, taking their time, without a care in the world. Well, I say without a care in the world, obviously, that's not completely true. After all, it's the cares of the world upon their shoulders that has led them to where they are right now. But I'm sure you get the idea. You do get the idea, don't you? Sorry? About the various ways. Forms would probably be the best expression. The lift-off, as we call it, you know, in the trade. What do you mean, in the trade? Well, we live in a market economy, you must be aware of that. One person's jump is another person's prized acquisition. Which means that someone now has the complete playing cards of some football team from 1965 found on the internet. Great thing, the internet. Allows you to see all the things you never needed or wanted posted directly to you. I've got accounts with all these websites. I can buy anything I wanted. Pity half the time it's a load of rubbish. Sorry, I got a bit distracted there. I was thinking about a toy car from my youth that I could never find. That's probably also on the internet. If only I could be bothered to find it. You can't stop me! I have no intention of even trying. You might drag me over instead. One minute I'm speaking to you. The next I'll be descending head first like some Olympic diver. Oh, rest assured, if you decide to go, you'll go. Don't step any closer. Oh, believe you me, I've no intention of getting any closer. You are close enough for the two of us. I'm quite happy over here. Over here, a good 20 feet from the edge. Hmm. Actually, while we're on the subject, could I ask you a question? No. Sorry? I said no. Right. Could you repeat that? With all the wind blowing, it's not always easy to catch what you say. I was asking you if you I said no! Hmm. What is it? What? I said, what's your question? You asked me if you could ask me a question. Oh, yes. Thank you. I won't bother you all day. Well, I mean, under the circumstances, that just seems like stating the obvious. I suppose what I meant to say is that it's not a long question, and therefore I doubt your answer will take up much of your time, especially as you do seem rather preoccupied at the moment. After all, it must have taken some planning to get yourself to this point. You see, technically, this is a restricted area. Residents aren't allowed up here. We used to put a bar on the door, but due to health and safety, it had to be taken down. Did you see the sign? What? I put up a sign by the stairwell about the roof being a restricted area. To be honest with you, even I thought it was probably a waste of time. People don't read signs, do they? And even if they do, when was the last time anyone who read a sign actually took any notice of it? That's the thing about signs. People never recognize them until later. What was your question? Sorry? Your question! 
you were going to ask me a question. About... about something. Was I? Oh, yes, I remember. I was, wasn't I? <laughs> well? Yes, I am. Oh, forget it. What's the point anyway? No, 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 I remember now. What I meant to ask you was, why this building? Why? Why not this building? Ah, ah, <laughs> answering a question with a question. Very clever. It's what people do when they don't want to say anything. What about that one over there? That's even taller than this one. And as for that one there in the distance, that one's huge. We're a mere beginner compared to the height of the one with the pointy bit at the top. Can you see that one? Lovely architecture. Done by that fellow off the telly. There was a TV series all about him. Did you see it? What? The TV series, the one about architecture. No! Pity. I thought you would have enjoyed it. How do you know? Because you chose to say goodbye to the world via the top of a tall building. Not the tallest building, I would be the first to agree, but the tallest one in the borough. Now, if you had been a train spotter, for example, I'd have thought you'd have waited for the 7.30 rush hour service and walked the tunnels. I considered that. Oh, what happened? The 7.30 was delayed. Yes, but you could have it gone to a... then cancelled. Well, looking on the bright side, you didn't make anyone late for work. What? I'm just saying. There were barriers to stop people getting onto the track. And a sign, presumably. Uh, I didn't see a sign. Oh. Well, it was only an idea. Apparently, after about 250 feet, you'll reach something like 70 miles an hour on your descent, which is pretty fast, don't you think? Never thought about it. Head injuries, chest injuries. Oh, I bet an evening with you is nothing but a load of laughs. Look on the bright side, it'll be much faster for you to go down than it was to come up, don't you think? This is high enough for what I need. I'm sure that was the architect's primary concern when he or she designed it. What are you talking about? Well, I suppose to many it might appear that the construction of this edifice was for the good of the people that would eventually live in it. But is it so great a leap of the imagination that one of the designers thought, come the day when some poor soul has had enough, will this be high enough? I know, let's make sure, lay on another five stories. Like to talk a lot, don't you? All right, all right. But I would agree that I do have a habit of going on and on. But there are worse sins than that, you know. I'll take your word for it. It's one of those gifts that we have. Language, the ability to convey meaning to others. Are you following me? Do I have a choice? Sorry? I said, do I I mean, it's what separates us from the animals. Although, saying that, the animals never invented things like nuclear weapons, or the three-point turn, or even the council tax. So maybe it is us that should be learning from them, eh? <laughs> Just a thought. Right. When you turn away into the wind, I can't always make out what you're saying. I know. Hold on. I'll, I'll take a step. But only a step, mind you. The edge is still the edge. All right. But I don't want to step any closer than this. You'll be okay. Oh, you're sitting down. The wind isn't hitting you as it is me. A quick gust and I could be lifted up high into the air. It's a long drop, you know. Yes, I know. Sorry? I said I know. Oh, you're not afraid of heights, then? Are you trying to be funny? No need to take that attitude. I never knew this was the way the day would turn out. It wasn't what I was expecting when I got up this morning. Between ourselves, I was hoping for a light day. Get the maintenance man in to change a few light bulbs. We've some contractors in the basement taking a look at the boilers. And I was going to buff up the 12th floor's brasswork. It was only when I got the call from reception that I was asked to check out reports of someone sitting, legs over the side, on the roof. Personally, I'd rather be in my office on the first floor, watching the tennis and then catching the news at one. 
Keep talking. Pretend I'm not here. But that's the thing, isn't it? What is? You are here. I mean, for the moment. I suppose you could always be leaving us at any time. But I'm guessing I could also say that for everyone else. We never know how long we've got. Well, you've got, <laughs> you've got an idea how long you've got. I, I mean, you're taking that issue firmly within your own hands. You've decided to take the plunge, as it were. No waiting on the Almighty for you. Forget the Day of Judgment. You are going to meet the big man at a time of your choosing. I have to say that I sort of admire that. Taking your future in your own hands, sort of. For the rest of us, we just sit back and wait on the turn of events, the spin of the wheel, the roll of the dice. But you've made your decision, haven't you? You are ready to take some action, as it were. No holding you back, I can see. No pleading will make you change your mind. Your mind is made up. There's no talking you out of it. No pressure. In your own time. Off you go. Can't do it if you're watching. Oh, I know what you mean. It's been a problem all my life. Not that. I mean this. Oh. Sorry. I know. What if I turn away, turn my back, as it were? Look away. Give you a moment of privacy, if you like. Do you think that would work? It would help. OK. I'll turn away, and then you can do it. Is that an idea? I guess so. You guess so? Hmm. Here I am, doing my best to accommodate you, and you only guess so? I've never done this before. Not something you can have many goes at. Before you're ready to get it right. If you like. The sort of thing that you have to learn on the job. You could say that. Look, I realise that you're trying to be a good Samaritan and all that. If you could please just go away, it would help me a great deal. How would it help? I could get on with it. And how would... That help? It would help me. Anyone else? What do you mean by that? No one lives in isolation. We're all connected to the rest of the world. Everyone has their place. We all fill a gap, as it were. Seven billion pieces of the same picture. I can see you're a deep thinker. Thank you. Now, would you please... You see, I occasionally do come up here. Officially, it's just to keep an eye on the tidiness of the roof and to make sure that the fire escape has not become blocked by rubbish or equipment from a contractor that's been working up here. But, unofficially, I also need to step away from the world, at least for a few minutes. It can, after all, be a bit stressful sometimes. My guess is that is what has led you to this very point. People's snide comments, things not working out as you'd hoped, the responsibilities that come with life itself, they can, let's be honest, be a bit daunting. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs>